In this video, I'll take a look at how to improve your odds of winning the lottery. I'll take a look at three tips that can improve your odds of winning. There's a slew of tips and tricks on the internet about how to improve your odds of winning the lottery. These include playing every week, buy more tickets for a game, pick higher numbers, use lucky numbers like your children's birthdays, and playing the same numbers every time. But which of these really work according to the laws of probability? There are actually three tips that work and a slew of them that don't. Playing every week does not improve your odds of winning the lottery. That's because all lottery games are independent events. Independent means one game doesn't affect another game at all. Imagine you buy one ticket on a Saturday at odds of 1 million to 1. You lose, and the following Saturday you buy another ticket for the next game, which has the same odds, 1 million to 1. Your odds don't change. Buying a ticket for the same game the following week won't increase or decrease your odds of winning. Playing the same numbers every time also does not improve your odds. Lottery numbers are chosen randomly, which means that hypothetically, the same numbers could possibly show up as winners for more than one game, or those numbers may not ever show up at all. If your odds are one in a million for playing numbers five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one week, your odds the next week will still be one in a million for the same numbers. Your odds of winning the Powerball jackpot are 1 in 292 million. That figure is roughly the population of the United States. You're more likely to end up in the ER with a pogo stick related injury or be killed by hornets, wasps or bees. However, if you're going to play the lottery, you can increase your odds a bit with these statistically proven techniques. Buying a few extra tickets for a game technically improves your odds of winning the jackpot, but not in any meaningful way. The change in odds is so small that you won't notice the difference. If you try and up your odds by buying 10 tickets, that increases your odds of winning the lottery 1 in 29.2 million. To put that number in perspective, you're much more likely to be killed by an asteroid or die in a plane crash. You can improve your odds of winning the lottery by playing games with better odds. For example, the second prize in Powerball, where you only have to match five in six numbers, has a prize of one to two million dollars with odds of around 11 million to one. Assuming that you've decided you're going to take your slim chances and enter the lottery anyway, which game has the best chances of winning? Well, you get even better odds if you play in the state lotteries instead of the national one. For example, Florida's Fantasy V has odds of one in 376,992 with an estimated prize of $200,000. Here's a surprising fact. Some Powerball numbers have a greater chance of being drawn than others. So if you choose your numbers wisely, you can increase your odds of winning. This fact was discovered by Aaron Zargarian during research for his master's thesis. Zargarian extracted data from lottery Powerball winning numbers beginning from 2010 from the US government data catalog. They found that the more ink on the ball, the more likely the ball is to drop and get chosen. So to up your odds, choose double digit numbers. Two numbers in particular appeared more frequently as the red Powerball than others. Number 21 had a 43% greater chance and number 23 had a 58% greater chance. 
Sargarian surmised that this was due to minor differences in weights of ink and residues on the balls. Here's another tip. Don't choose lucky numbers or strings of numbers. Choosing lucky numbers will actually decrease your odds of winning. According to Philip J. Cook, he's the professor of public policy, economics and sociology at Duke University and co-author of Selling Hope State Lotteries in America. The lottery jackpot is shared amongst everyone who gets the winning combination of numbers. Your choice of lucky numbers is likely shared by a large number of people. The same is true for strings of common numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You still have the same odds of hitting the jackpot, but if you have to share that $1 million prize with 20 other people who chose the same lucky numbers, then your jackpot is going to be a paltry 50,000. One final tip, pick double digits higher than 31 because those aren't birthdays. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.